Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sensible Mama. And today I've got a fun video for you, Valentine's. And yes, Valentine's is around the corner. I want to be prepared for you guys. Think what fragrances are suitable for Valentine's. So, let's get started. So, I will be doing my top 10 Valentine's scents. I will be doing five women's versions and men's versions. I got the, the Ariana Grande Thank You Next. This fragrance is really, really nice. And it does smell sweet. It's coconut. It's creamy. It lasts all day long. This is one of my favourites from Ariana Grande. I do love her brand new one called Thank You Next 2.0. And yes, I did smell it in Superdrug, but they're not out at the moment. This would be perfect for anyone who likes Ariana Grande or just like the fragrances. But yeah, this is amazing for Valentine's. This is Viva La Juicy No. I do love Juicy Couture fragrances. They are very young, sweet, refreshing, and they all look cute with this with this famous ball of Juicy. Juicy is really, really good. It's one of my favourites, but this one is a definitely my favourite. This is sweet caramel. It's fruity. Very fruity as well. This is so amazing. This is heaven. I do like this a lot. It does smell sweetie. Very sweet. It's very nice. It's very, it's very young as well. Here I have this Prada Candy Glass. This is a very, very nice one for Valentine's. It opens up a sweet, nutty... I'd say this is cherry as well. It does last longer than the original. This is amazing for Valentine's. And I got this in an email and it's an Eau de Parfum. And here I have is a Britney Spears Fantasy. This is the original Fantasy from the Britney line. And this is one of my favourites too. I do love Fantasy, but this one is the best one she's done, uh, to be quite honest. But I do like all her other Fantasies. And she's got a new one called Blissful Fantasy. I have smelled it, but it does smell like... Island Fantasy. Get on with this. This opens up as a uh, this opens up as a cupcake, quince, kiwi, sweet, vanilla, beautiful fragrance, and it's sweet. It's it lasts it lasts long, but not too long, like the product candy kiss. Sorry, gloss. It's perfect for younger audience, and it's sweet. It's beautiful, beautiful. This is a hundred ml, and it's nice, and I am on this. And my last one I'd like to show you is the Pakara Band Pure Excess for her. And I got this in the 50 mil and I love the bottle. It's everything. This scent is more sexy, very daring as well. It's quite strong. It's quite more mature. It's nice for if you're going out, out. This does smell like popcorn. It's toffee in there. I'm saying it smells like toffee, woody, and it's vanilla as well. It is quite sweet. It's more mature as well, but not too mature. This is really, really nice. I like this a lot. And this is Paco Rabanne Pure Excess for her. And for the guys, I have the Sauvage. Obviously, you have to have a Sauvage in your collection. And this is the original, and this is the pop -on. And this is quite popular as well. This is nice. I do like this a lot. It's one of my favourites. All-time favourite. I do love Sauvage. And I got this uh, as a Christmas present, and I, and I really like it a lot. And this is 100ml as well, which is a good size. It's quite sweet. It's a bit powdery too. It's very, very nice. I can't really describe the scent. It's too hard to describe. Sorry. <clears throat> and it lasts forever. Foam is really, really nice. And long lasting. This is Sauvage. And here I have this the Versace Eros Flame. I got this in a hunch melt and I got this like... I think I got this from Christmas Boxing Day 2019 and that was a long time ago. And I am running low on this, which is very, very shame. Because I do like this a lot. Oh, it's sweet. It's spicy. It's, it's amazing. I do like this a lot. I like the bottle as well, it's so cool, I like everything about this, I do love the Sashi fragrances, but this one is my favourite and it's perfect for Valentine's. And here I have a Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier, this is the male version, because they did a women's version called Scandal. This is more sweet, caramel, or I think it's more caramel in. it's quite spicy, it's woody, this is more for a younger audience, and I got this in a, in a 100 ml. this is an Eau de Toilette, and it's perfect, and I like it a lot, I love the bottle. And the next one I have is the Victor and Rolf. Infrared Spice Bomb. This is one of my favourites from Victor and Wolf. It smells soft, spicy, it's cinnamon. It's got good spices in there. It lasts a long time as well. And um, yeah, I got this for Christmas and this is the 80 ml, which is a good size and I love the bottle a lot. This is perfect for Valentine's and it's very, very masculine. It's sexy, very daring and it's beautiful. I love this a lot. <laughs> and my final last fragrance I'd like to show you is... Toy Boy by Machino and I do, do recommend this to anyone who likes Machino. I have them all and I do like this a lot. And this is one of my favourites from Machino. Oh, oh, mmm. Sorry, uh, this is so, so beautiful. It's floral, it's got a bit sweet, it's woody and it's a little bit spicy as well. I'm sure this has got rose. It's a good rose fragrance. It's one of my favourites. I do like it a lot. It's ideal as well for any occasion, but this is good for Valentine's. And yeah, it's very, very nice. Oh, I love it. 
I like this bottle. It's so cute. It is so cute. It will look good on your desk. And that is my top 10 Valentine scents. And thank you very much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. And please follow me on Instagram. It's Sense of Aroma. Please stay safe, guys. And I hope you have a good day. And I hope you have a good Valentine's. Hope he or she will treat you very, very lovely. Thank you very much. Bye.